Hey everybody and welcome. Well, once in a while I get really excited about making a video and this is one of those days, right? This is very special to me because I have been using Maya for a long, long time, as you probably know if you know my channel, right? Now I have the opportunity today to show you guys a sneak peek of the brand new Maya 2020 and all its features, including Arnold 6 and GPU rendering, all right? Check it out. All right, everybody. Well, before we dive in, I want to say a big, big thank you to the Autodesk team, the Maya team, the Arnold team, and the NVIDIA team for allowing me to play with the beta for the last couple of days, right? I got to know the product a little bit better, and uh, I want to talk about it in this video, obviously, uh, but uh, regarding all the new features, who do that better than you guys, right? So Autodesk provided me with a very cool video that I'm allowed to share with you guys, so sit back and enjoy. And don't check out after that because then we're gonna go into the Arnold 6 renderer and I'm gonna show you the difference between the CPU and the GPU render, All right? Here we go.
Okay, everybody. Well, it's finally time to talk about my favorite change. Um, my favorite change is Arnold 6 and its capability to do CPU, but also GPU rendering, right? Now, the GPU rendering done by Arnold 6 is real-time ray tracing. That is the new standard, and it's made possible by NVIDIA's optics, right? So uh, why GPU rendering? Well, first of all, GPUs are becoming bigger and bigger, and as a result, they're making it possible to do so. Now, if you're a freelance 3D artist like I am, that will open the door to in-house rendering instead of outsourcing that, right? So for me, that's a very exciting possibility. Now, it's uh, intended as an interactive and real-time workflow, so in your viewport as well, right? Now, the industry has been uh, asking uh, for GPU rendering for years, and the development on real-time ray tracing has been worked on for decades, right? Now, uh, it's uh, going to be part of Maya at 2020, it's part of 3ds Max, it will be in Houdini, Katana, Cinema 4D, and it's intended as a final frame render, so not just a uh, preview, right? Now, uh, Arnold GPU runs on NVIDIA only, so you need to make sure that you have an NVIDIA card, and it runs on Quadro cards and GeForce cards. Uh, but then again, if you are a pro in the 3D world, uh, most likely you are using something like that, right? Okay, so uh, like I said, it runs on NVIDIA Optics Ray Trace Engine that makes the RTX possible. So what does a Ray Tracer do? Well, a couple of things, Acceler uh, acceleration structure management, uh, shading, uh, denoising, and of course, ray tracing, right? Now, there are three ray tracing APIs, uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, application and programming interface, one of them being NVIDIA Optics, and then also Microsoft DirectX and Vulkan. Now, um, what I'm gonna show you guys is a render that I did, um, both on CPU and GPU, and I'm gonna show them side by side. And the cool thing about the new setup is you only have to flip a switch. So it's the same renderer, you can use all the same settings, you literally go in and you switch CPU to GPU or vice versa, right? Now, I'm using a, an a Intel i7 uh, CPU. It's a, a six core 6850K, 3.6 gigahertz. And my uh, card, that I'm using my GPU card, that is an, an NVIDIA RTX 6024 gigs, right? Okay, well, uh, let me show you how, what that looks like and uh, be amazed. Here we go. Okay, everybody, well, on the left-hand side, you see a very cool image created by my buddy, Henry Shervenka, great artist. And uh, that's the render running on the GPU. And on the right-hand side, you see the same render on the CPU. And there's not a lot going on just yet. We're at 15 seconds. And what you'll see on the left-hand side is that the GPU will be lightning fast, right? So we're coming up on the finished render right here, and that's going to be 27 seconds flat. That's on the RTX 6000, right? Now, on the right-hand side, there's not a lot going on just yet. And as you can see, we just see the first little block popping up there, right? Now, uh, to be honest, this render is going to take a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video 10 times, right? And just see what happens and how long this takes. And what I want to talk to you guys about is the opportunities that you have by the fact that these renders uh, are so fast now, right? I mean, like I said before, I work as an independent artist. Whenever I have larger projects that need to be rendered, I have to outsource that to render farms. And uh, besides the fact that it takes time, it obviously is also a financial impact, right? Now you can see that the, uh, the image is coming together. Keep in mind, it is at 10 times speed, right? And we're coming up to the end here, and I'll uh, reveal the uh, final render time on this, right? Keep in mind, the other one was 27 seconds on the GPU, right? Final CPU render, 10 minutes and 15 seconds, right? That's crazy, isn't it? Now, I mean, looking at that, that means that if you have a full two week render on your CPU, you could bring that down to less than one day, 16 hours. So two weeks to 16 hours, I mean, that is amazing, right? And like I said before, this will make things possible like in-house rendering, and I'm definitely gonna check that out, okay? So that's it for the Arnold GPU, moving on. 
Well guys, I certainly hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. I've been working in Maya for a long, long time and this is a big, big, major release, right? So I'm gonna dive into all the new goodies and make sure that I get acquainted with them and make them part of my new workflow, right? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.